Really? Okay. Ray and Dominic against the Miz and Logan Paul. How did Logan Paul look? Great. Good. He looked real good. good. Right? Yeah, that I saw. I saw the the spot <laughs> on the, the highlights. I mean, he's pretty cocky. I you know, like when he, he comes out and the, and the guy actually says, "Yeah, he's wearing the world's most expensive Pokemon card around his deck." Yeah, dude. Did he say <laughs> six million dollars or something? Like yeah, that? it's like six mil or something like yeah, that. Five point seven million dollars. He paid for the yeah. private signing. Uh, the the, the, That's the most great, bad. bro. This guy like has must is got to be worth like hundreds of millions of dollars. Wow. Yeah, you know, with with twenty million followers on YouTube, it's like, <laughs> but um. But I was going to say is that I'm not – like the funniest thing is like when people think like, you know, okay, here's Logan Paul. There. Bro, this guy just like fought Floyd Mayweather and like went the distance with Floyd Mayweather. The guy is obviously an athlete. Bro, not, not only guy, that. Not know? only that. This is how much he gets it after he won. And mm-hmm. I don't know if this was in the ring or if this was backstage. Like he really put it over. He goes, I can't believe I was just in WrestleMania and I won. You know, like right. he, he understands how to put over. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, bro, and there was one part where he did the Eddie Guerrero Three Amigos thing. When he did, he did the, the thing, yeah. Just yeah. 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 They crazy. did a close-up of his face, and he goes, watch this. And he had better facials than, like, most of the yeah. guys that have been doing oh, it no, forever. He, had, he, had he was bro, great. He, had, he was really he good. Had, bro, This you got to understand. This guy's fought for real. Mm-hmm. On pay per view, he knows how to sell. He knows how to work. The, he, knows how to, right. he knows how to market. He knows he how gets this, is a, it. this is a great guy to use to bring in for your for your product. If you're going to bring in a celebrity, you know, you yep. draw probably tons of fans of this too. You yeah. know, on, on social media and stuff and things. So, yeah. So afterwards, the Miz, uh, uh, the Miz hits hits him with the skull crushing finale, which is why well, I didn't watch see the match hits. I don't know if there was a spot that led up to that or whatever, but I don't know. That was kind of I didn't expect that, mm-hmm. but. Um, Best but part was Dominic in uh, the Gringos Locos gear. Yeah, that was great. Pretty and cool. I, 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 um, I didn't understand why he turned on him, but he got a humongous pop when he turned on Logan. Yeah, Paul. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, if Frey and Dominic are listening to this, okay, you gotta, you gotta have your gear that you wear that that's a certain gear that you wear that you don't do a job in, right? And I would think that the Gringos Locos uh, outfits would be, for future reference, would be outfits you don't want to get yeah. beaten, right? Would you agree with that, Conan? Of all yeah. the things they can wear, I don't think I don't agree with that. I do agree um, with that. I think that's like well, that's just Shawn Michaels would tell him that. <laughs> Shawn Michaels would tell him that. <laughs> Does any, like, any, any yeah. excuse for not doing a job? Hey, you can't right. do jobs. Do that. that's, that's Eddie Guerrero's not outfit. Not in that year. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do a job. Go tell the bro. Kid. Imagine this. I right. got similar advice when I first started, and I got mega mega heat when I first started. I was wrestling in this place called. El Toreo, which shoot mm-hmm. was probably maybe the best selling arena in the world. And uh the guy that was the champion there, his name was Kanek, and he was like, Yeah, he goes, only sell for me, sell for nobody else. <laughs> but I I only had like a year in the business, so I wasn't selling for nobody but him. Hmm. Bro, I had mega heat, you know, and they had to come and smarten me up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Um Okay, so let's go let's just real quick uh, to re- recap what's happened so far. Let's go over Powell's POV of the show so far. Um, first match, he said, he, I thought Boogs was still in his previous knee injury when he collapsed, but all the talking between Jimmy and Nakamura appeared to be them coming up with a different finish on the fly. Um, Powell, for the Drew match, a good match for what it was, just so hard to take the Corbin seriously with the happy gimmick, and McIntyre really belonged in something bigger and better than this. Here's something they make it up to him at WrestleMania 39. Meanwhile, Moss got in Corbin's way again, so they're inching closer to splitting up. It'll be really interesting to see where a repackaged Moss lands on the WrestleMania card next year. And then for this one, a fun match with Paul getting good heat while performing Eddie's signature spots on Ray. The Miz attacking Paul afterwards was surprising and fun, but was also cheered, and I think they want viewers to like Paul heading into a parent match with Miz. Every time I think they figured out that the Paul brothers are heels, they do something like this that seems to suggest otherwise. Um... So did they, did, they, did Ray and Dom kind of get Paul ready, Conan? Do you know? Were they working through the match beforehand? And was it those guys they relied? They were, yeah. I mean, I, I'm asking, was it Ray and Dom they relied on to get him ready? You know, I didn't ask them, and I did see them, but I, I didn't, I didn't ask them. Yeah. 